Welcome to our What's New video series, where we talk about the newest and coolest features of our latest release. The new graph editor is the most advanced editor to build and maintain knowledge graphs on the market. Pool Party developers have been hard at work creating a new graph editor that will help make creating and managing data a breeze. With the latest release, you can now manage any RDF data by using and applying an ontology of your choice. Not only is it more user-friendly, but business and technical users will be able to make real-time changes without the need for coding. The graph editor is able to edit large volumes of data and knowledge graphs on a large scale. It also allows for a 360 view of your combined data, helping departments or users access data filtered based on their interested or specific fields. At this point, we have our data, either structured or unstructured, and have also developed our data model by reusing a common ontology, having customized the relations especially for our use. In addition to this, we've added a taxonomy to cover controlled metadata, such as building types and locations. A database has also been set up to store the knowledge graph and the semantic middleware configurator. Using the steps already mentioned, I've imported our data and I've created our knowledge graph. We are now ready to set up the graph editor. First, by naming the editor and creating a URI pattern that will be used to create new data. We will then pick the data model based on the ontology. Following this, we will pick the database and will continue by selecting the graph we are using. This will create an additional node in the tree, which I've named Buildings Editor. Now I have created my first editor where I can browse and filter the data. expand entries with multiple values. I can also click to see all the information from the instance, not just what I've already filtered. You can also create multiple editors by repeating the previous steps. I can create new filters for the new editor. where I can do inline editing on the filtered data or open the instance and edit it within. I can also create new instances, but can keep my filter options the way I want it. Switching back to the first editor, the filters have remained the same. I can filter for buildings designed by Norman Forster and theaters, and then I can also batch edit these selected results by adding, removing, or deleting information. In this case, I have included the fact that these buildings have 12 floors. In addition to this, the graph editor translates all of your filters into a sophisticated Sparkle query. Thank you for tuning into this video. Be sure to check out our other features on our website at www.poolparty.biz.